Hey, are you a critical thinker? Well, solid critical thinking requires us to be skeptical. You don't get to think, oh, that's self-evident. It's like nothing self-evident to the skeptic. Because if we're going to get skeptical here, we might so, as well go all the way so, to the bottom. So, for... so what do you think? Does skepticism require that we try to poke holes in all ideas all the time? I'm not so sure. You see, I think skepticism should be balanced by an openness. That's an openness to all ideas. Now, this probably sounds like a contradiction. I mean, come on, how can you be open-minded and skeptical at the same time? Well, the opposite of skeptical isn't open, it's gullible. And the opposite of open-minded is closed-minded. So, of course, to be good critical thinkers, we don't want to be gullible and closed-minded. We want to be skeptical and open-minded. So while we consider all ideas, we test them and probe them so that we see which ones are best. So good thinking is just open and skeptical at the same time. Sounds easy, right? Well, I want you to think about the last time you had an argument. Maybe about politics or religion, or maybe just an argument with your friend. When you're having an argument, do you view your opponent's ideas with the same openness as your own? And here's the really tough one. Do you view your ideas just as skeptically as those with whom you disagree? I don't know about you, but I find this really hard to do. Still, I work at it all the time, because at heart, I'm a scientist.